look up at the Indian Peaks and we look up at Rocky Mountain National Park, these valleys and these landscapes are carved by glaciers. Colorado owes its unique beauty to the massive glaciers of the past, but smaller glaciers remain as part of our current landscape. Here in Colorado, all of our, our glaciers um, are located in these high elevation, east to northeast facing cirques. Dr. Daniel McGrath studies glaciers at Colorado State University. He says there are 16 named glaciers in our state, all of them in the Front Range Mountains in spots protected by sunlight and where wind and snow slides pack new snow in thick every year. Really, very few of these are actually truly glaciers. They need to be flowing under their own weight for this to be for them to be classified as glaciers. McGrath says some of these glaciers may have lost their characteristics over time and others would likely have not been named under today's standards. So this here um, is the world renowned St. Mary's Glacier. An example of a named glacier here in Colorado that is, is certainly not a glacier. It's just a a big snow patch that some years is bigger than, than others. McGrath says this famous snow patch called the Dove on the north side of Long's Peak is another one of the 16 that he would not call a glacier, but there are good arguments made for some of the others. I think Andrews and, and Arapaho Glacier both exhibit characteristics that suggest that they are still truly glaciers, still truly flowing. There is no movement to declassify these ice fields, and McGrath says we probably won't see that anytime soon. They are just names of locations, points of interest that Coloradans call part of home. You know, Colorado is a great spot to to go see um, a glacier. You know, if 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 we consider these perennial ice fields still a, a glacier. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, Nine News.